A young American woman living in Zimbabwe will be tried on charges of attempting to overthrow the government of Zimbabwe with a tweet mocking President Robert Mugabe, the world's oldest head of state. The arrest of the woman, Martha O'Donovan, 25, has raised fears the Zimbabwean government is stepping up efforts to control social media before national elections in 2018. Mugabe, who will be 94 next year, is running for re-election despite his increasingly frail health. O'Donovan was arrested last week at her home in Harare and charged with subverting the government and undermining the authority of, or insulting, the president. She faces up to 20 years in prison. But on Friday, the High Court judge in Harare granted bail to O'Donovan and openly expressed skepticism of the charges against her. The judge, Clement Ferret, said O'Donovan had showed that she has a plausible deficit. He added that it appears, prima facie, that there was no evidence of a plot to overthrow the government. She has surrendered her passport and was ordered not to leave the country. A trial date has yet to be set. O'Donovan, of Martinsville in New Jersey, is a 2014 graduate of New York University's Gallatin School of Individualized Study and is a project coordinator for Magamba Network which produces political satire and comedy. She lives in Harare, the Zimbabwean capital. Prosecutors said that, starting in February, O'Donovan had systematically sought to incite political unrest through the expansion, development and use of a sophisticated network of social media platforms as well as running some Twitter accounts. As evidence, they cited a tweet posted last month that read, We are being led by a selfish and sick man and included a photograph of Mugabe with an illustration of a catheter. They say O'Donovan had access to the anonymous account, with the handle at Medigarab, via her laptop computer, and that she used an anonymous web browser known as Onion Router. O'Donovan's goal, prosecutors charged, was to replicate offline uprisings like what happened in Tunisia and Egypt in 2011. The at Medigarab account, which has accumulated a wide following, including among Zimbabwean journalists, for incisive posts about Mugabe's government, has continued to tweet since O'Donovan's arrest. Abe Shava, who is representing O'Donovan and is a member of Zimbabwe Lawyers for Human Rights, said he looked forward to the start of the trial. Asked how his client was doing, Shava said, one cannot be entirely excited as her freedom is curtailed. O'Donovan's employer, Magamba Network, which focuses on youth culture and news, describes its vision as a democratic and just Zimbabwe. It is funded in part by the Amadia Network, a foundation established by Pierre Amadia, the Ibae founder. A social media campaign started by the organization under the hashtag hash free Martha urges Zimbabweans to call for her release, and is being spread by local and international rights groups. The arrest came as Zimbabwe's government, which last month established a cybersecurity ministry, is tightening its control over social media and its potential threat to Mugabe's 37-year rule. The government began a crackdown last year on activists who use WhatsApp and Facebook, leading to some of the biggest street protests in years.